Hey guys, it's Dirk here. Welcome back to episode number 73 of the Code Hangout show. In this episode, let's continue our last project, how to build a Snapchat camera. It is a beautiful, simple camera that works just like the Snapchat's camera. It has very minimalistic design and you can use some of the very advanced feature like take a photo, take a video, but also you can control the flash, control the front and the front facing and the real camera and also in this episode let's learn how we can use some of the more customizable action like double tap on the screen to uh, switch from the front to the facing uh, to the real camera and also slide left and right to change the mode of the camera like the photo and the video mode okay so let's do this here is our complete project so far the project that we are doing so far okay I will switch to my screen over here all right now in order to do this we will need to uh, configure some of the methods in our camera view controller I hope that you already watched the last two episodes if you haven't pause this video now and watch them okay so here we go here is the two methods uh, or three methods that we are going to configure together so the first one let's do the switch button tapped this switch button tapped is when we want to toggle between the from the front facing camera to the real camera okay so let's do the self dot camera dot toggle position so that we can change the position of this camera okay you see the documentation over here changes the position okay you see a typo over there of the camera either back or the front camera okay now the next thing is segmented control value change this thing I will just print out print out segmented control value change over here so that we know that it does work so that but now we don't have to really do anything because um, in the snap and tapped the first video that we did in this series, right? We check if this segment control selected segment index is zero, which is photo. Then we take a photo. Otherwise, we'll take a video. So we don't have to do really anything when the user taps on that. The value of the segment control changes itself. So when the user taps on the snap button then we'll do something else. Now, if you want to do more of this, you want to change things around, then you always be able to put code in here, right? The next thing is our flash button tapped. This flash button tapped is when the user want to enable or disable flash. So let's, if self.camera, self.camera.flash equals to LL camera flash off, flash off like that so if the flash is off so now we want to turn on the flash right let's done is self.camera.update flash mode in here ll camera dot ll camera camera <laughs> flash on okay now we have the flash on but also after we put on the flash we also want to change the color of the thing so we can see that the flash is really on so i will just change this like that if we did done with this so if we really turn on the flash then i will do flash button gosh cannot type here flash button dot selected to be true right and then Next, we'll do flash button dot tint color. And the tint color here is UI color. Let's do just yellow color. You can change any color that you like over here. Let's just do it yellow color just so that it looks fun. Okay, works okay, right? Great. So now let's move on into the last two features of our camera app. The first thing is we want to double tap into the screen anyway into the view of the camera of the viewfinder and we want to change the mode of the camera. Change from the front facing camera to the real camera or the back camera. So let's go back into our view the load over here, the view the load. And then below this line, I will do a let 
double tap gesture equals UI tap gesture recognizer and then we'll have to add a target and the action so the target here let's do self because this class is going to perform the action and the action is a selector selector and then this is switch button tapped which is this thing over here and then we'll just do an underscore semicolon I'm sorry colon like that so this thing the selector has the name of switch button tapped the parameter we don't care about that and it does receive a parameter and now this switch button tapped it is exactly if you scroll down over here it is exactly this method over there right it has the same signature of the method switch button tapped with the button all right now i know that this is a lot of code and it does involve a lot of thing to work a new custom design for the camera it does that's why apple provides you a apple provides you a default camera but it's kind of boring if you want to use that all the time it maybe it will not match the design of your app so if you go like to use this case i can i can see that why you're still sticking around okay so let's just walk with me on this now we have the double tap gesture now the double tap gesture isn't available on the default camera so this thing your user is going to love it next let's do tap gesture dot number of taps required because we want to double tap then we'll do the number of tap required is two and then we'll do self dot view dot add gesture recognizer and we'll do the double tap gesture like that uh, gesture okay i hope that i spell things right all right so now we have the double tap gesture let's test it out okay works great now let's have the slide left to right and change the photo and video mode For this feature i will also add two new gesture recognizer but instead of tap gesture we use the swipe gesture okay so let swipe left is ui swipe gesture recognizer and here we'll do the target action also because a gesture it's also target action so let's have the target the target here is again ourself the action i will use a selector selector for a function called or method called um let's say let's name this guy how about uh switch to photo mode because we want to swipe left to the photo and swipe right right to the video right now we have the swipe thingy okay then let's just have swipe left dot direction our direction is ui swipe gesture recognize okay so it's yelled at me because there is no method for this guy that's good because swift does tells us that if you're working on objective c then objective c doesn't tell you about the selector thing so funk switch to photo mode like that okay it doesn't receive any uh function so for the selected uh switch to photo mode all we have to do is segmented control dot selected index segment index is zero because we want to change to zero if you if you look at our design you would find out about that right so now if, let's run this oh this is two photo mode so it matches the name right cool so now let's have our ui swipe gesture recognizer direction dot this is left so let's have dot left okay the next job is just self dot view dot add gesture recognizer and then we'll add this gesture recognizer into the screen and then the thing is uh swipe left right now we have that thing let's do very fast our swipe right also okay hey how about i will leave this as your code challenge this time i will challenge you to add a new retro uh 
swipe just your recognizer into the view and add that so that when you slide swipe to the right then you change that into the movie or the video mode okay so i hope that you enjoyed this episode this series number 72 73 and 74 of our coding our show so far i believe that it will add tremendous values to you and you will see it is very curly and very easily to implement this camera okay i hope that you enjoy this and as always go back to your email because i hope that you will join that series course that video tutorial series a new online course that i deliver to your inbox so that we get more to know more about each other i am so th thrilled to be able to be able to serve you here and also i want to uh, bring to you my new iOS course which I created for you for free and you will receive that as my thanks for checking out the coding our show so go, uh, well done it has been a great great journey it has been three episodes for one killer feature I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that I will see you in the next episode of the coding our show I will see you down the road at one of our seminars or at our online courses I'll see you there and as always go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world hey don't forget that you have that code challenge that and that online course that I create for you don't forget that one code challenge number two a new course for you so I will see you for real